Hi there, Nikita. My name is Marcy, and you dropped the link to your business here in my Facebook post at the beginning of the week. So here I am taking a look at your site and recording this video for you. Um, what an awesome, you know, yes, we've all had, uh, we've all had our times, eh? So what an, what an awesome thing to, to make a movement like this. This is really good. So I kind of clicked through your site. Now, um, you're the first one that I've come across. You, what I do um, is I deal with more of service-based businesses, whether they have a brick and mortar or they just, you know, they come to you to provide their service. But, you know, Joe, business owner that, that works in a local area and, and builds a website and wants, wants the website ranked so that it's before more of their potential customers, whereas, you know, you've got the world for your potential customers. So e-commerce is a little bit different. Um, Yours is the first one that I've come across that's had, let's see, um, you know, the ad thing going on. So I don't really know how that, that works. Um, if I'm completely honest, cause I am brutally honest, that stuff, I, I mean, I, I wouldn't do it myself. I mean, I mean, if it brings in income, then absolutely. Right. And that's what you want to do. But I myself, am um, somewhat, the more ads, the more irritated <laughs> I am, but that's just me and forgive me for my honesty, but that's just me. Uh, cause I love your idea and everything. And, and, and it's just, um, they kind of get in the way and I just, as soon as I see one of those, I'm looking for an X to try to get rid of it because, um, it, it, it's just like muddying up what it is that I'm trying to take in. But again, that is just completely my opinion. Um, and you can just throw it away if it doesn't work for you. Um, the thing about ranking websites. So as I said, I'm more of a, a, a working with somebody that, that would be a person to person thing and not e-commerce, but anything on the internet, it's all about search. So the more content that you can get on here, you know, then the more Google will be able to match you up with people that are searching for what it is that you have to offer them. Right. So, you know, in our business, we, we call it content is king. So, I would get writing away and the more that you can put on here, you do have a blog. So, you know, add more and more and more to the blog. Now let me look at this. So here, this is, you know, pictures are content also, right? So when they crawl the web, when somebody search something and then they go out and start crawling and they want to offer up the best results, they can't see the picture, but they can read it, right? So you want to take advantage of this, like a missed opportunity where that could be, um, named, this picture could be named something that you feel that somebody that you would want to connect with is going to be typing into the, into the browser. So that's what you'd want to do is start, you know, taking advantage of these pic pictures and naming them and just write, 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 get lots of writing in there as well. I took your, so content is very, very important for ranking purposes. Now, another, uh, way up there thing that you can do that helps rank your site is something called backlinks. So I put your URL into this tool. It shows me what's going on behind the scenes. And, uh, I'll just quickly explain what a backlink is. A backlink is a link from a third party site coming into your site. The internet is like a big popularity contest. So when other sites vote for you, AKA give you a link back to your site that in turn moves your site up through the search engines. Now it's not just any old spammy old link. You don't just go out and grab whatever the heck, you know, it's, it's making sure that they're irrelevant to what it is that you're all about. And, you know, it's coming from sites that, that have gained trust with Google, you know, um, not less than, um, you can get, you know what I mean, how we could get, kind of gnarly sites linking back to yours you don't want. Now, what it's showing me is that you have four other sites on the internet that are referring back to yours and they're giving you six back links. But at this point, and I think, you know, it's fairly, fairly new, but this is where the content's going to be coming in where it says organic keywords. That's what you want to, you know, in your situation, it would be words that, as I said, the, the person that you're going to want to reach, you know, I noticed that you've got ju um, journals and, you know, all the things that you're, you're yourself trying to sell here. You'd want to be having, you know, content around this, um, maybe even give each one a whole page, build out a whole page and, 
talk about, you know, how good journaling is and et cetera, et cetera. And so you can see how then Google can match the two then. And, and when somebody puts that key term in, they're going to go, well, look at them. Look at all, look at these guys. Look at all the information that they have about this. And then uh, thirdly, I put your site into this tool that just gives us a performance report. It shows you how fast it's loading and whatnot. So you come in the middle of the road, see nothing to worry about, right? That's, that's fine. It's loading fast enough that Google's happy about it. Your searchers would be happy about it. Um, so I think that's fine. I mean, you can always improve it, but it's not, it's not causing you any, it's not hurting you any. So hope that has helped out Nikita. Um, I, I, again, hats off to you. I admire you for, um, for doing something like this, especially in times like this, we really need to, we all need to be resilient and we need to start uniting and helping each other. And I just think this, you know, I admire you for, for taking, taking this on. So I wish you the best and, uh, have yourself an amazing holiday season this year. Take care.